Disclaimer, I have zero proof of anything. This is all just a funny haha video. And I, yeah, not nah, fun times. Um, yeah, but your favorite artist is a fucking liar. Some of them aren't really relating to you about your problems of driving without a driver's license, or maybe they don't know how it feels to be kicking a can down a road in the middle of Illinois, trying to figure out where the fuck your girlfriend went while the, a sad intro plays with an office clip playing. I, I don't know if that's a thing, but if it is, I'm proud of you for being original with that. Or they actually didn't produce a song that they claim they did. It's called being ghost produced or having a ghost producer. A ghost producer is someone that makes a song for someone else and that other person takes credit for it while this person gets money. Uh, it is a mutually benefiting affair and the person just wants to be a normal person but make music and make money from it. And this person wants to party 24 seven, go to clubs, DJ, but they don't wanna work to actually make the songs they play. Now, there have been some people recently say that they know who's who and they're willing to expose the truth, but then they don't because they realize that either one, uh, their friends actually work for said people and they don't want to ruin their friend's income. So then they realize the error of their ways and they back down from it. But then people are like, hey, yo, why are you backing down from it? Kind of seems like you're grabbing attention for those new songs you just dropped. And he's like, no, I didn't. Nuh-uh. Then you got other people who are like, yeah, I know who they are but I'm not gonna say it, but I'm gonna give you tips on how to figure out who they are because I'm a little quirky. I'm a little odd sometimes. And I like to talk about centers from the MB. And that leads into the first person that I would like to talk about, DJ Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal,y Mr. NBA All-Star, Hall of Fame, NBA champ, a lot of things he is, but he is not a producer. He's more of a vocalist and i think that's how he gets away with it it's technically his song because he's in it it's just he didn't do any of the producing someone else did whether it's his own ghost producer or the person he collabed with he didn't really make the song on his own overall i don't see a problem with him doing that because he's mainly a dj he's not a producer and I don't think he tries to act like he's a producer, you know? Unlike some other people that I'm probably gonna mention in this fucking video. However, the next person that I wanna talk about whose name is being dragged so much because of their circumstances is Level Up. Now, little story time for you. So before she really got famous and going on tours and playing big festivals, she played a local venue around here called the House of Booze. Also, hey guys, future Jake here. This is the uh, flyer that I got from the show where she performed at. 2018 in May, Level Up is right there. You got some other artists that have performed there too. And yeah, no, it was, it was a decent event uh, until the, the police found out there was a bunch of underage kids there drinking and they tried shutting that shit down real fast. <laughs> Spoiler alert, House of Booze is closed. I, they have terrible fucking owners. Anyways, I remember seeing her play and seeing her rise up from there. She's always produced her own music. It's just that when she met subtronics they started dating and now they're married so congrats to them uh, but when she started dating him and he got really popular he wanted to bring her up with him so whenever subtronics would play shows he probably had like a clause in his contract saying hey i'll play this show but you gotta have level up play the show with me and a lot of people were like well subtronics is doing really fucking well sure we'll put up level up why not and that's not to discredit Level Up's hard work because they probably have been working a lot. And I know that Jesse, aka Subtronics, has defended her constantly over and over and over and over and over again, saying that she produces her own music. She's a self made woman and she did not need anything from me producing wise. He's been very clear on the ghost producing stuff. However, uh, the opportunities that she has been given she definitely had more help because of jesse and there it's no knock to that and i'm not dissing that but she's definitely had a lot of help growing up as an artist which is not a bad thing i before you fucking poke at me with a pitchfork if i was in his situation i'd be doing the same goddamn thing for my girlfriend i would be helping her out constantly trying to make her dreams come true and that's her dream and that's jesse's dream they can both live it together, and they are. And you know what? That is perfectly okay. So yeah, the people being like, oh, well, she's taking up spots for other artists that could be in that spot, and and she's not working hard enough for it. Well, she worked hard enough to meet Jesse because she would be working and DJing and all this shit. It's just Jesse, unfortunately, is in a better position 
to have, well, actually, no, he has more power to kind of swing that, and they're all right with it, and Level Up has a decent amount of music, and I would say I like some of her music, and it's enough to where people can justify, like, okay, I see why she's there, but there's also that stigma, or there's also, again, that mud that she's getting dragged through, it's like, oh, well, Jesse is just holding her up. Now, another artist people love to bring up is Borges. I'm just going to be real quick with this one. Every time you mention that someone else produced Tsunami, uh, he blocks you on Twitter. Now, with that being said, this is the last producer that I'm going to be talking about, and I feel like this is the biggest one out there. I know I said Shaquille O'Neal and everything, but I feel like this one significantly, in terms of their fan base and their popularity, their success, I don't believe that they have made a single song in their entire discography and it's dj khaled when's the last time dj khaled actually performed on a song of his own right it's always been like t-pain drake Nicki minaj and french montana and uh, two chains and fucking rick ross and there's been all these different artists but when is the last time DJ Khaled actually performed on a song of his own? I don't know, it just seems very weird that he has produced all this great music, but not once have I seen him work on a song. All I've seen him do is fucking go on boats and make memes and jump in the water and eat food. And he's got a son, which is great. I'm glad he's got a son. They're enjoying their lives together. I don't know, I just, I just find it weird, all right? I just find it weird. I don't want you guys to come after me. I don't want DJ Khaled to come after me. Uh, but if you guys do, don't call me if you get lost, all right? Just don't do it. Just don't do it, all right? I apologize, but that's just my hot take at the end there. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, Let me know who you think has been ghost produced. Uh, Who do you think is not? Who do you think's actually a ghost? Uh, Who do you think is actually haunting us right now that was an artist? Um, Yeah, just just let me know your thoughts. So I just, you know, it's a little funny haha video. Um... But yeah, Odd Prophet, stop trying to be funny.